I win! Nice game, you two! Take that, Earth! I'm the best! We are now tied. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah better luck next time, Earth. Oh, yeah? Well, well, at least I have a little planet. You mean a moon, dingus? Are you moon shaming us now? Yeah! I am the only one with a moon. Ha <laughs> ha! So I'm the real winner. Well, I have moons. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean those two small pebbles, Phobos and Deimos? If those are moons, then Pluto is a planet. Come on, don't be like that. Hey! Why don't you say that to our face? Yeah! Say that again and your Earthlings will be Dinosaurs 2.0! Well, the dinosaurs died out to an asteroid, so you kinda just proved my point. Ugh, you blew it. Hey, guys, what are we talking about? We're just discussing how I have a moon and none of you have one. But hey, you're cool, man. I kinda always saw you as Venus's lost moon or something. Me? What? The Mercury, Mercury Venus? Venus? My moon? I, uh, how no dare way. you? I'd, I'd rather, rather crash, crash into, into the, the sun's sun surface. surface. Okay, Earth, I get it. You're proud of your moon, good for you. It doesn't mean you have to be mean about it. Look, Jupiter has like 70 moons and he's not showing off. 80 moons to be exact. Pfft, the gas giants don't count. Says who? Says the planet with the biggest moon. Not counting gas giants because they're weird. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more important matters to attend to. And you guys think I'm a pain in the core. You know, Venus, for once, you're not the planet I hate the most. Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Okay, I take that back. I mean, I get he was bitter about losing the game, but I think he took it too far. Maybe we need to humble him down a bit? <laughs> I think I have an idea. Hey you, are you looking for a new space-related game to add to your collection? Yes I am, omnipresent voice. Then you have to try Star Trek Fleet Command, the sponsors of today's video. But we're planets, we can't play, oh, never mind. Engage in a story-driven Star Trek galaxy with all your favorite franchises, where you choose your own path and discover mysteries only you can solve. Hey, you said favorite Star Trek franchises. Where's Deep Space Nine, you liars? I don't think we're allowed to tell that to our sponsors. Worry not, my ring friend. This month comes with three new officers, Cisco, Kira, and Miles O'Brien. Not only that, but there's also new missions following the fan-favorite narrative of Deep Space Nine. Awesome! Oh, can Jupiter play too? We could even do an alliance! Of course. New to this month are Alliance Star Bases, where Alliance members will have a chance to connect and work together to keep, maintain, and defend their base from enemies. As well as share progression, take control of new system resources called Celestial Objects, and so much more. Star Trek Fleet Command is available for free on iOS and Android. Download now by using this link below and join the fight. Now back to the video! Hey, Venus! Still happy about winning the space card game? Oh, not at all, Earth! I can't compare myself to your glory and, uh, whatever. Huh, you finally came to your senses, Venus. Yes, yes. In fact, why don't you ask Astro Dude about the mirrors Paul Armstrong left on the moon? Mirrors? Ah, oh, sounds interesting. Mirrors? <laughs> Just watch. Okay. Doctor said these pills will make the talking planets go away. Maybe it's all, all, all in your head. Yo, Astro Dude! Mind coming out here for a second? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Uh, planet Earth. Okay, I'm losing my mind. H hi Hey! Venus told us you know something about some mirrors. Mirrors? Yeah, on the surface of the moon. Oh, uh, yeah, we use them to measure the distance from the Earth to the moon. Uh, we shoot a laser from Earth and calculate the time it takes for the laser to return. Well, that's lame. It's around 238,000 miles, right? Ugh, you Earthlings and your lame ideas. Wait, no, it, it's more interesting than that. You see, we discovered something about the moon. It's drifting away. The moon makes such a great He can do that, right? What? How? Sorry, I. That, that's impossible! Venus, you outdid yourself. Thanks, Mars! Yeah, uh, good job. Yeah, that's nice, Mercury. So? We gonna talk about it? Talk about what? About you drifting away! For the first time, I was proud of having you hanging out with me, but now I. Hey, I didn't know I was floating away either! 
Why is this now my fault? Please! My gravity is pulling you in, not pushing you out. So it must be you that's trying to escape or something. Hey, if I was trying to escape, I'd do it right away instead of... How fast am I drifting away? Well one centimeter a year? One centimeter a year! In the great scheme of things, that's fast! How can my Earthlings become a type 3 civilization if you're gonna leave and cause a cataclysm? It's not my fault! Guys, you wanna know the truth about why the moon is drifting away? I don't need a lecture from you, Jupiter, okay? The moon hates me. Simple as that. Earth, shut up for a second, will ya? Okay, listen. The moon is pulled by the Earth's gravity. Right? Right. And the Earth is also pulled by the moon's gravity. Right. Right. Uh, huh? huh? Guys, the moon may be smaller, but it still has a gravitational force that affects the Earth. But I'm bigger. Everything pulls on everything else. I pull you, you pull me. Even Astro Dude over there pulls us toward him. Big things are just way better at it. Okay. 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 So the moon pulls you in. And there's always one side of the Earth that's closer to the moon, right? Right. I don't see the problem yet, Jupiter. Well, the problem is that this side is always changing. Oh, well, because I'm spinning? Yup, and very fast, actually. So the side of the Earth that's being pulled by the moon is changing all the time. Why does that matter? We're all spheres, so that- You're wrong. We're not perfect spheres. In fact, we all stretch based on the gravitational forces that pull us. But you're also rotating. So instead of looking like this, you look like this. So we're never really aligned? Nope. You're always re-stretching because you're rotating. This actually slows down your rotation, but that's a topic for another day. Jupiter, friend, all I got from this is that I'm pulling the moon to my center, so my point still- Wrong. The moon's not being pulled to your center, it's being pulled towards this weird spot. That's what accelerates the moon into higher orbit. Wow. So I guess it's kind of my fault? No. Well, I think it's just the way things are. But hey, I don't mind. We should focus less on the fact that I'm slowly leaving and instead enjoy the time we have together. Hey, Jupiter, can you lend me one of your moons when mine abandons me? What? Yep, this was a waste of time. We hope you liked the video. Thanks to Star Trek Fleet Command for sponsoring this video. The game is available for free on iOS and Android. Download now by using this link below and join the fight.